Alright, hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Here we are back to Kirby the Rainbow Curse. We're going to be doing the second set of challenges now. We're going to be doing 13 through 23, 24, maybe? Eh, whatever. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Start with 13 here and begin. Now you'll see the thing just bouncing up and down really fast. You pretty much have to time it. This is kind of annoying to get. But thankfully, you fall and move slower than that thing actually moves up and down. So there's that. But still, kind of an annoying one. Here you just see a cannon. This is the blast yourself in two separate places. That seemed like an almost a bit of a frame rate issue there for a second there. I, I think that's actually intentional, actually. I don't know. Whatever. Got a chest. Don't care. Now for this, I'm just going to go ahead and just knock down all the water. Just hold it all up there with one piece of rope or clay or paint. Whatever. Just hold it up, get that chest, kill all the Bronto birds, there you go. Not precisely in that order, but I think you get the picture. Now here you'll see the exact same thing we saw in the survival challenge before, except in reverse. We now see it opposite. Interesting how that works, but same difference. Works the same way, and we get the chest. Yay, and all of you die. Thankfully that one at the end survives. Too bad. Oh well, challenge 13 is completed, so we got that down. Now we're on a, it's going to be moving on to challenge 14. Hey, we got a gold. Yay. We have a ways to go here since there are 48 challenges, but making some pretty good progress, making some pretty good time. But like I said, they get more complicated later on. It's going to go through those hoops, and that's a really hard one to miss. If you miss that one, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with you, honestly. You have to be an idiot. Now for this one here, you'll see a lot of bladeos here. Just wait for that opening crack and just grab the chest that way. Simple. This one is kind of frustrating. You have to actually get these things to notice you and get an exclamation point above the head three times. Mainly that one at the bottom to actually get them to break open that last spot for you to actually go through. And then you have to get a chest afterwards after going past all those little drill guys. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Easy, kind of easy to do. Now here you'll see another one of these puzzles. This time there's actually like a particle field there in the middle for you to not use paint on. So you just have to dash Kirby in the right spot to actually get them all to light up. Quite simple, not really too much different. By the way, challenge four is n 14 is now completed. Hooray! Now we're on to 15. Ooh. And then we have the survival challenge after this, which is going to be super fun, I bet. But now you'll see water physics. Yay! Kind of simple. Just draw Kirby the exact... When you're drawing lines under water, you're essentially drawing them opposite of how you would draw them in the air. It's interesting, but whatever. Get him over to that little bomb and then fly up. Yay! Simple. Now, for this, I think you're supposed to dash and then fly up, but instead, I'll just do that. Th that also works. Don't have to touch the water at all. Not the way you're supposed to do it, but eh, don't care. Now, of course, same way underwater physics, just light all these up. And hey, look, another chest. And I think that does it for challenge 15, I think we're at. Yep, challenge 15. So that means the next one's going to be a survival challenge. Ooh, what kind of fun stuff are going to be noticing there? Well, the only way to find out, let's go ahead and click on 16 and see what awaits us. We have one of these in the opposite direction of what we saw before. So there's that. Works the exact same way though, just opposite. So you gotta just flip your look in the mirror. It's essentially the same thing, as far as I could tell. Now wait for all these things to spawn. You'll see the Bronto birds spawn there too. So make sure you just kill all of them, and then just get that torch just at the end. And watch out for the spikes, obviously, because if you don't watch out for them, you're gonna get hurt. I I, I can't really see it wasting too much time getting hurt, but every second counts. This just draw a line. Simple. We didn't hit a single bumper even on the way down. Nice. And there's just a star literally right there waiting for you just line and wait. So now we just wait for it and launch ourselves down. Hooray, and I'll kill everyone here. Everyone is now dead. And hey look, you have to draw two lines to stop the lasers this time. Whoa! Although essentially that second line is the one you draw to just go up there in the first place, but whatever. Things. And now the Bronto Bird's a lot easier to deal with than a big bouncy because the Bronto Bird, the giant Bronto Bird, just pretty much 
goes towards you. The blue Bronto birds actually move towards you, the pink ones just move sporadically. Kind of interesting, but whatever. Hey look! Yay, ball physics! Let's just move these over here and just run our way in the clay! Yay! And then of course, spear guys, just kill them in this order, I'm using here. Probably the easiest way to avoid taking damage, even though I'm not doing a very good job of not taking damage. But I still got it, with 5 seconds to spare. Hey, anything helps. And now you'll see one of these already lit up. Oh man, Superman just have to draw over there and avoid the one at the bottom. Quite simple, relatively easy, but hey, we still got it. And now you'll see these Blados again doing the exact same thing in the opposite direction. Let's just go ahead and try falling down here and not get by any of those, which is nice. And now we have this. Be careful on this spot. You want to actually jump up above these guys, or float above, whatever. Then move back so you don't get hit by the last one. Think that little charge just lying right there and wait. Yeah, really easy to get squished there, and that would be annoying if you do get squished there. Because it's so close to the end. This one's annoying. You have to draw very, very carefully. Aw. Alright, let's do it this way. There we go. But yeah, any of those cans just launch you back up. Kind of annoying. A lot more precise in drawing than it was before, but whatever. Same principle. Got the gold. Don't care. We're done. Well, not done with the video, but done with that survival challenge, I guess. But whatever. Moving on to 17. Hey, yep, just hit the two switches and that's pretty much it. Hopefully it doesn't mess up or something because I'm looks like I'm doing quite badly actually, doing quite bad indeed. But still, got the chest. Don't care. Now here is a bit tricky, in all honesty. Just draw a line there, but you also have to actually get that that little rainbow thing to actually draw a line back to actually get that. It's if you don't actually grab that jar of rainbow or whatever, you actually will not have enough paint to draw away that line for the waterfall. So you pretty much have to draw a line just long enough to reach it that way. Kind of interesting, kind of annoying, so you need to know what lines to draw. Either way, current, stream, same difference. Just dash. This one you want to go in the top one first, if that wasn't already obvious enough. Because you want to actually dash through the particle grid thing. And then dash one last time to get that little treasure chest. We 17 is done. Only uh, six, seven, eight more to go. I'm not sure what we're. Probably six, actually. Probably, maybe. Hey, look! Now we're in a sub this time. So all of these challenges are going to be dealing with this submarine version of Kirby. Quite simple. Pretty much just drawing lines, hit stuff with. Missiles or torpedoes, actually, is what they are. Here, drawing a line, you can actually move it to hit that switch. Whoops, off a bit. Uh, better just change. There we go. That's better. That's nice. And, of course, since you can't kill these guys head on, you pretty much have to draw a line underneath them to actually get them to kill them that way. And, same difference. Treasure chest appears. Whatever. Now this one, you have to be quick. You want to grab the star as quickly as you can, and as you're waiting for it to charge, head over to the chest, and then launch it out. Because otherwise, if you wait, if you actually try to launch it back there where you were, you will not have enough time to actually grab that treasure chest. I have tried, but whatever. We got it! Hooray! So now we're at 19. Ooh. Hey look, bombs! Let me run into them. That didn't work, obviously. Turns out to draw a line to actually get rid of the bombs, but just don't stay too close to them, otherwise you'll explode. But if you have only 15 se I highly doubt you're going to be able to kill yourself by hitting in 15 seconds. Unless you face these guys, because of course these guys are insta-death. And once you hit one, it's game over. And that's it. Even in the four by four stages, if you get killed by them, that's game over. You don't move on. You don't proceed to the next one. You do not collect Pasco. You do not collect two hundred dollars. You just die. 
So, that's an interesting thing to learn. It's like, uh, but essentially, as long as you know what you're doing, you shouldn't have to be too worried about them. In fact, if you're going for golds, it really shouldn't matter if you get hurt and kill yourself anyway, because you're still not going to get a gold if you die even in that one stage. Either way, I was going to get Kirby to cooperate here. I'll go ahead and grab that up. No, no. Aha, went underneath you, fool. Haha, that kind of didn't expect that, did ya? Did ya? Oh, that was a little too close for comfort there. I, thought, I don't think it would have mattered, though, because I already did pick up the chest, so whatever. Got a gold. Challenge 19. I'm happy. Now we're on the challenge 20, so we're almost halfway there. In fact, I'm not gonna, we're going to be not even going to finish halfway here with this video, but whatever. Hey, look. The Bronto Bird. He's kind of running away from this this time. That's interesting. Except now he's going to be running towards you. Just keep dashing. La, 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 la. Anyway. Yay, you got the treasure chest. Now for these balloons here, of course you just knock them down and kill them, but be careful with this last group. You only want to hit the balloons you need to. So hit that balloon, hit that balloon, and ever so slowly get that treasure chest. If you wait for them to land and then try to dash into them to kill them, you will not have enough time to grab that treasure chest. I've tried. I mean, maybe it's possible, but not recommended. Either way, there you have to actually go through the Gordos to actually get that treasure chest, because if you go through the balloons, well, the treasure chest is going to fall. Simple enough. Oh, here's a random rocket out of nowhere. Pretty much want to take Kirby's rocket and just dash him through those two Bronto birds that aren't wearing armor and work it that way. And now we finish challenge 20. So there's that. Ooh, and the survival challenge opened up. I think that's 23 that opened up. There are actually two survival challenges on this particular set, which is interesting because the other one doesn't unlock till later, but whatever. Hey, we have more blippers to kill. As long as you know what you're doing with killing underwater, you should be fine. Now, you shouldn't really have too many issues there. In fact, the harder, I think it's actually harder to try to grab the treasure chest than it is to actually kill the blippers, but whatever. Hey, look, a ring of stars. You want to grab all of these before the chest appears, obviously. So dash. Dashing is useful. And there we go. Hooray. Look at how much Kirby's spinning. He's just rolling and spinning so much. Now here, just draw a line. Just draw a line to the treasure chest to move the water down. Quite simple, really. And now we have more of these guys. Be careful. Careful. I'm not sure what their hitbox is, but thankfully, me touching them like that didn't work. So, good. Happy about that. All right, new challenge, whatever, don't care. And now let's go to challenge 22. Now here, just go through the opening of the clouds, grab the chest that way, because all the Gordos plop down on you. And you could go straight up to go through the clouds that way. But now this one is really annoying because you gotta hit it just right, be prepared, because as soon as you hit that, the chest is gonna start falling. And it will not float. And it will not so and there's no way for it to land. So if you don't grab it quickly, it's gonna fall and you'll lose it for good. So uh just be very cautious of that one. Here we just have spear guys you need to kill. Relatively simple. Same difference overall, nothing really all too exciting except we've we've seen uh different layouts for those guys so far. But anyway. Now we want to kill all these Bronto birds here. So this uses invincibly lollipop. We'll draw a line to kill these guys. And then keep drawing. And then yay, the treasure chest appears now. And we still have invincibility lollipop left over. But it's not carry over at all, even if you use it, even if it's in like a survival challenge or something. Because it just essentially resets your health and all your status effects from one stage to the next. Anyway, let's do this wonderful survival challenge. This is the second survival challenge we actually did this particular episode. So that's interesting. There are five blippers this time. Ooh, five is more than four and more than three. Man, they're really stepping things up now, aren't they? Although, admittedly, it is kind of annoying to actually catch them all. Come on. There we go. That was more stretched for time than I needed it to be, but whatever, it works. And now, same difference. Just hit these little switches up here. Except this time they're all at the bottom instead of at the top or on the sides, so you have to deal with a lot more of them. So there's that, but still shouldn't be too big of a deal. 
Same difference, you're supposed to dash and go it that way, but I'd rather just get it that way. Easier, probably. I mean, it's probably just as easy the other way, I'm guessing, but whatever. Not gonna complain. Let's use Kirby, hit that little bomb right down there, wait for the things to go away, and of course, you can grab that chest that way. Hooray! Now, of course, this is like the same thing we've seen before, where you actually want to draw the waterfall there to actually get rid of everything. And then, come on, get that chest. Please, please, there we go. All right, I'm happy, got the chest, don't care. Okay, gotta be careful here, gotta be ever so careful. Come on, come on, there we go, aha. Although, I still don't want you guys to kill me, so I'll just stay over in that spot. Now, I've noticed the water is coming from the top this time instead of from the bottom. So now it's actually falling in the right direction. And you pretty much have to draw two lines instead of one. Ooh, challenging. Things going to drop. There's a giant star in there for you to grab. So you actually have to get the star boost dash thing. And dash your way to victory. Hooray! And now we have, you know, water jet streams. You have to actually draw these. Still, same difference. Just grab that chest, and we win. How many more of these are left? Three more. Okay. Now these die die in one hit. They just die in one small hit. So it's essentially just killing three blippers, except they move a lot slower and they can't be hit at the top. Otherwise, they'll damage you. I guess it's a little bit more difficult, I suppose, but. Whatever. Just grab all these, and it just appears. Not really all too difficult, really. But, hey. And this is the last one. I'm gonna be very careful to get that invincible lollipop, and then make your way over back around, and get that last treasure chest. And now we are done with the survival challenge 23. Let's see if 24 unlocks. I'm pretty sure it won't, but... I could always go ahead and check. Nope. We still need four more of those. Anyway, next time in Kirby the Rainbow Curse, we'll be doing whatever ones we do next, I guess. I have no idea how this works. See you guys then.